a good thing about getting older is I have vintage clothes and I'm the original owner. <laughs> so this dress I originally wore in Comic Relief in 2006, thank the Lord it stretches. <laughs> and I don't have Spanx on either. Gaffer tape, yes. <laughs> Tried duct tape, but it didn't hold. I just, I don't give any of my clothes. I have my clothes carefully divided up into three groups. Clothes I can wear now. Clothes I might be able to wear again at some point. And clothes I'm never ever gonna be able to wear again even if someone cuts me in half. <laughs> I have a pair of jeans, I'm telling you, the Israelis and Palestinians have a better chance of getting together than this zipper. There's always a chance I could get shingles and lose a few pounds. Because <laughs> women were always trying to get into better shape, but I have friends now who are having operations. Not a good idea. One of my friends had that balloon put in her stomach, but you know what happened? She sneezed and it came undone and she flew around the room. <laughs> Even the supplements are dangerous. One of my friends took those one of those supplements they, you see on TV, guaranteed she would lose five inches. She got shorter. <laughs> Women, we like to exercise, but we like to exercise and talk. I have two friends, they like to jog and talk. They biked and talked, swam and drowned. <laughs> I mean, even my great-great-grandmother used to take yoga, always bragging about how limber she was. I could touch the back of my knee to my nose. She had a fake leg, that didn't count. Come on. <laughs> so I have given this subject a lot of thought and I have decided that as an older woman, I do not want to be in really good shape and I'll tell you why. Because I don't want to be one of those women who looks great from the back <laughs> and then turns around and frightens people. <laughs> I think the back should match the front. That's what I think. And you know what I love now? Compliments. Compliments make me so happy. And I find as time goes by, I'm less picky about compliments. <laughs> the other day I was giving blood and the technician said, nice veins. And I said, allow me to take you to dinner. Thank you. <laughs> Some compliments are kind of underhanded. I was trying a dress on in a store and a saleswoman said to me, that's a very forgiving dress. I know. I said, then you'll forgive me if I don't buy it from you. Thank you so much. <laughs> when I was younger, I was insulted by compliments. I'd be walking down the street in Manhattan and a construction worker would yell out, yo, mama, bring it over here. And I think to myself, well, you animal. <laughs> Treated me like a piece of meat. The other day I was walking down the street and a man who'd recently regained consciousness. <laughs> rolled out from under a bench and vomit dribbled down his chin and he opened up his crusty, pussy, bloodshot eyes and he said, you know, you're a good looking woman. And I said, and you, sir, are a fine gentleman with excellent taste. Thank you so much.